Welcome back. We've got a quest over here with Dirk. We saw it a little while ago. Several, several, several parts ago. So, let's see what this is all about. Say, you're twit, right? Nice, my name's Dirk, and I'm out here on an assignment for the Harriers. I was just talking with the guys back at base about a crazy new rookie working with Elmer. I mean, are we really a rookie at this point? I was hoping we'd get a chance to talk someday. You guys have been cutting through the ganglion like a hot knife through butter. What's the secret? You got a genius plans for her heading into battle or what? Um, yeah. I'd love to hear your story sometime. I'm a sniper myself. So sneaky, it's pretty much my whole game. Hey, so are you free right now? Me and the rest of the team, Jaeger, <gasps> are supposed to hunt down critters in Silvalum, Silvalum. I keep doing that for materials. If you aren't doing anything else, maybe you'd like to come along. I just really want to watch you work. Would that be okay? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, nice. I'll be honest. This is my first time here, and I was feeling pretty nervous until now. Uh, you don't mind, do you, Edelbert? The list of materials we're after is pretty long this time. Bye bye me. I'll take any help I can get. This area is teeming with dangerous indigens, and there are ganglion forces around to boot. Frankly, I was worried about getting my work done while having to babysit the rookie. Hey, I've seen a few battles. I'll show them. This hunt is my chance to prove to Fina and Greta how far I've come. Hmm. Take it slow and careful. Ah, oh, not you too. Fine then, I'll just have to bag a big one and prove that I'm no rookie. I look forward to that win, and if it happens, Rook. Now let's get this hunt started. Fina, Grete, I need a favor. We'll start the hunt here, but I need you to head to the base and gather information on the materials we're looking for. You think you can give me orders? And boring orders, no less? Oh, easy. Backup's still an important role. Besides, there's half an ice cream cake left in the freezer. We can eat it when we go back. Ice cream cake? Yeah, all right, I'm sold. What do you owe Fina for this one? Edelbert? Edelbert? Not entirely sure. I'll keep that in mind. All right, let's secure the area. Hunt down any entire monoxidosis you find. How about a little race to it? If what I've heard about you is true, you should have no doubt beating me. Go on then. Might as well make it fun. Huh, I like your style. Alright, I'm ready to do some damage. Let the games begin. Stay on your toes, everyone. We're the only humans out here, as far as you know. And I don't want any accidents. Alright, so. Just, just hunt stuff down. Where, where did I put my scale? There. Second like one there. Da, 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 da. Have a biscuit. Nope. Have a laser to the face. Have a biscuit. Have a laser. Uh, two more. Ah, oh, hello. It's like just going around just being like, I'm going to find my laser at you. Um, hello. Laser. <laughs> Music kicks in. Done. It was like, I saw it. It was like, you know what? May as well. It's right there. May as well take it out. Be reasonable, Greta. I can't just run back to the city to pick up you a new ice cream cake. And go wipe out for every last one of those O-serves. Ox-serves. I had one tiny luxury in the midst of this hellish wasteland and those bastards ruined it. Someone is going to die for that. 
Oh, I hear ya, but kind of busy trying to find that noble silk. Oh, twit, perfect timing. Some gangly machines called Oxserve stole Greta's ice cream cake and she's... Well, she's not happy. I wouldn't be, I mean, understandable. And once our little princess gets going, there's no talking sense to her. I need some help. Could I ask you to either gather the noble silk we need, or let's go take out those ox serves? Um, I'll go with the fighting. Oh, thanks. I'll allow you to be my top servant now. Or maybe second to Adelbert. Now go show those ganglion dogs what happens when you interrupt a lady's sacred snack time. Yeah, sorry. She may seem a little crazy, but she's a true soldier underneath. Try not to judge her too hard. Excuse you, Adelbert. Dare you speak of me that way. S sorry. Sorry, yeah. Besides, I actually like crazy. Anyway, thanks, Twit. It's in your hands now. I'll get to work on our job in the meantime. Alright, so where am I going? I'm running out of fuel. This is the thing, it's like, the way I'm cutting parts up at the moment is very much that case of like, when my fuel gets really low, I will end the part, sort of thing. It's like, it's a good way, because then I, like, I stop the game, come back, the fuel's back. Don't have to think about it, that sort of thing. I could just go refill. You know, it, it's, 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 it's an option. It's like, it just keeps me in check in terms of keeping everything fresh from my point of view. I flew over where I was going, too busy speaking. Oh, is it down here? Oh, of course. Place with the door. Because I find this suspicious. Like, it's like... Like, where this is, it's like, it feels like there's a door behind it. Like, it's it's rock. That guy was following me. Strange. It feels like there's a door there. It really does. Where am I going? Oh, you? Hello. Hmm. More Earth aliens, huh? First we find dinner, now dessert comes to us. Um, I was gonna say, tell the prone you don't taste good. Silence, dessert, food does not speak. Now you will learn true meaning of hunt. Well, all right then. Do, 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 do. I should have maybe gone from the middle guy. Oh, it doesn't matter, they blasted into a million pieces. Almost instantly. That was, um... Boom. Adelbert, no, no. What am I supposed to do? I thought something had happened, it's just a campfire. Oh, it's you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what should I do? If I don't do something, they'll kill him! What happened? Right, sorry. Adelbert got back, uh, so we were eating dinner here. Then a whole army of those prone guys came and... And they killed him. Killed Adelbert. He was trying to shield Greta. He would rush them, but they... Then they stuffed Greta and Fina into sacks and took them away. Fought like hell, but it didn't matter. Please, you have to save them. They were headed to the northwest. There's a cave there. It's got to be their hideout. Hmm. Is that thing of like... So are they planning on eating them? That's the question. Oh, I thought it would be the cave would be right there, but it's not. Where actually are we? Like, how does one get in this cave? Down here? You see over there, but where's the actual cave? Ah, oh, is it this big cave? It's the big cave, isn't it? Yeah. I can fly in, can't I? No! That's a shame. I can't even see what it is. There we are. <laughs> this is like, where are we? We have not been in here? All right, strange. Woo! Some lava over there. That almost looks like a shield, actually. Hey, screw, screw you and everything else. What's going on over there? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got the idea. What is that? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Enemies. Why is there a shield here? Why? That's suspicious, right? Like, why, why the shield?
Yeah, we win, but the shield? This looks like there's a way to get up there, like... Hmm... That's suspicious to me. What's there? Like, what requires the shield? And why is there a yellow thing over there? Oh. For a second I forgot what the yellow things were, and it was like, I was assuming it was like the red things, where it's like I have to grab something. Yeah, we win. Okay, so you're up here somewhere. There you are, Fina. You're on your own, though. No, no, get away from me. Don't come any closer. No, stay back. Sue? Sue? Oh, oh right. You. You're here for me. Oh, thank goodness. But they. Greta is. And those monsters, they... Like, what happened? Probably were going to eat me first, but Greta... She told them that she'd be more tender than a flabby human like me. She knew she was provoking them, but she still... Question what happened. The whole time we were in there, or here, Greta kept saying it was over. But if Adelbert was gone, she has nothing to live for. And when they came for us, she offered to die for me. Said it was the last thing she could do for a friend. Right before they... She said to keep hope alive and live. To live and for the both of us. And more details. But it took my place. Plone dragged her into the middle of the cave and they... Started skinning her like meat. Oh! Didn't realize she was a... Mimi... Mimi Mimosa. And when they found out, they were furious. They... They tore her apart while I watched... They pulled her piece from piece while she screamed Adelbert's name. Oh! This monster's made it last. She was half in pieces by the time the screaming stopped and then... Oh, Greta, I can't... I... Oh... Try to calm her down. Right. I'll make them pay. I swear it. I have to kill those prone. Kill all of them. That's what she kept me alive to do. They dragged her off. All of her pieces... Like they were going to use her for something. I think they had some kind of orders to do that. Please, I can't just run away. I'm begging you, find those prone and their boss. Give them all what they gave Greta. End them. End them all. Whoa! Okay. That took a darker tone than I expected it. I, was, I thought it was going to be that case of like, keep telling us information so we can use that information to then go find her. And it's like, no. No, 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 this goes a different way. Okay, so I need to get over there, but how, what's the best way of getting over there? Would it be like a, a way up here? I think flying put me there. Okay, so let's go back across. Hmm. Shield, still very much I'm suspicious of. It's rare you see shields. So it's just like, yeah. Why is that here? What's it for? Is it connected to this story? I don't know. Uh oh. Whoa! I mean, yeah! Exactly as I planned. Double wonder. It's just it's the skinning bit that gets me. It's like, oh. Okay then. Let's let's get back to you somehow. Or is this the way we're meant to be coming? Down here. Did we get a whole of bits? My question is, what were they planning to use her for, though? They had orders to do so. Why? This, this, this feels more... Hmm. I'd say, hmm. Did you actually... Then it's over. It won't bring Adelbert or Greta back, but at least those bastards paid for what they did. It's justice. It's right. 
I... Revenge solves nothing, but... No. Isn't this what Greta kept me alive to do? Got some thinking to do before I head back to the camp. Oh, but I want to repay you as well, so please, come by when you can. What a rod Fina deal. told me everything. What happened to Greta was... Still can't even process it. But even just Fina surviving is a miracle. That never could have happened if not for you, so thank you. Um, apologize, I couldn't do more, really. Fina kept bawling apologies to Greta until she finally cried herself to sleep. The only one who should be apologizing is me. I was a coward who stood by and did nothing. I'll take Fina and head back to the city. I'm not leaving her side until she recovers. No matter how long it takes. It's the only way I can atone for letting my fear stop me from helping Edelbert and Greta. I, uh, that's what they would want. I'm like a saint. I can find the kind of mercy and love in myself. Fina is going to need it. You may never work as blades again, but hope you continue to grow strong. Yeah. I know it isn't much, but maybe it will be enough to help you save someone else. Oh, yeah, this cruel world. Yep. Hold on a moment. Human. I would ask you a question. Do you feel that there exists in this world something worth defending with your very life? Many hold that even the most noble of acts is meaningless if the cost is one's life. What do you think? Hmm... Hmm... I mean, there's probably a few things I'd say are worth sacrificing one's life for, etc. But it's like very, very, very few. So even those from other worlds think so. Perhaps Gerju... Gerju was not mistaken in her choice after all. She's a friend of mine, Getju, a brave warrior. We grew up together as orphans. By sharing both meager meals and shelter from the elements, we managed to keep each other alive. I had hoped that we departed from the Gangli and we might enjoy that life once more, that we might find a humble, peaceful existence together. But she left for Koldras, alone in an attempt to revenge the Ganglion for their insult to Prince Chirak. Hmm, I, I praise her for her boldness. Spoken like a ruffian, exactly. Many ruffians also praised her choice the night she told us of it. They saluted as she left to meet her end. But I could not. Get Jube always protected me, pulled me along. She is my truest family, and I do not wish to lose her. Even if it means defying her wishes or harming her pride, I still want her to live. You seem a warrior of considerable skill. Could I ask you to go help her? Of course. I will pay any price, and I am able so long as she survives. Even my life, should it come to that. That won't come to that. No, 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 no. I am in your debt. And in the event you are too late and she is already lost, you will know her by the silver bracelet on her right arm. It bears the words, let us share this life together. And if it comes to that, it is that you bring back her dagger. She always kept it close. Thank you, human. I would begin by searching for the skell she pilots. Well, I found the skell. My is my scalp picking up. Is Cesar? Is that you? How many times did I tell you not to come? This is my fight. I shall not involve you in it. Uh, I'll join and assist you. It's my people's grudge, human. I will not drag an outsider into it. You're not dragging me. I want to come. What? Is Cesar sent you? I told her to forget about me for her own good. But she never did listen. I saw too many good men and women die needlessly as pawns of the ganglion. I will drink a toast to them with the blood of our enemies. I'm sorry for your troubles. Please return to Vicesa and let her tell her that Gedjue has perished in glory. No. You speak in proofs and details. All I know is that there is something more important than my life 
or even the bonds I share with others. The insults to my people must be answered for. I'm a warrior before I am a woman. Even if it means breaking Vistas' heart, I walk the path of vengeance. I should cast away this bracelet now. Take my own advice and forget about her. A woman about to die has no use for sentiment, and we should leave regrets behind. We should leave the dangerous place. It is crawling with monarch scouts. Oh, you say that now. Hello? TP. I was waiting for it to come around. It's like, nope. Beauty. Wait, are you the one who hailed me? I told you to go home. This is Raffian Battlefield. There is no place for a human upon it. Um, no. Hmm. You are nearly as meddlesome as Viz Cesar. I can see why you two hit it off. But you must leave. Neither you nor she understands the depth of my resolve in choosing this path. I even threw away her bracelet in order to put my former life out of my mind. Why must you keep hounding me? Uh, a silver bracelet made by Vicesa. It's engraved with the names of Vicesa and Gedjue. And one as other words, let us share this life together. This is the symbol of our bond. Why are you doing this? I'm about to cede my life to preserve the honor of the Ruffian people, and you bring me this? Uh, oh. You you went away. Come back! I am not say I'm gonna help you! So, so all I wanna do is helps. Assist. Ah, you are a meddler from before. Come here to save me, have you? No, to work with you. Damn it all, looking at the silver bracelet, flooding my mind with memories of her. It made me scared to die. My legs are shaking, my eyes blurred with tears. I could not go after him. It is a sorry excuse for a warrior. If it comes this far, I need to lose their nerve. We'll work together. Yeah, I disagree on your. That, that you, you made the right decision, basically. I am a warrior. This is anything but a right. And though it shames me, it seems I need your help. Seeing that bracelet reminds me of all I have to lose, and I cannot keep my promise if I die here. Finally. That's all I wanted to say. I'll just help you. Like, well, that's, what's the issue here? Laser. Look, like, you know, just laser it in the face, and we'll go. I didn't even get my laser out. There, see? See, I could have done that. You wouldn't let me do it, though, would you? Whoa, that exploded into something, didn't it? Oh my, we have to go. You have prevailed. Amazing, almost terrifying, really. I see now how you humans held your own against those ruffians. And thank you. I may just live to keep my promise to this scissor now. Um, no more crazy plans. Worry not, human. I give my word to keep her safe for as long as I draw breath. If I were to die, it would make me a liar. Even if it means turning my back on the ruffian warrior's way, I would do it. But I would turn the whole world with a shins of his Caesar. That was so long ago, and with all that has happened since the gangling came, I had forgotten about it. But when you returned this bracelet to me, it came back so clearly. The shame stings, yet I shall return to Caesar's side. Ah, those fearless eyes, that mix of sweet aroma and salty language. Get Joey has returned to me. I cannot thank you enough, brave twit. This sum is nothing compared to the precious life you saved, but I ask that you accept it. Get Joey, as a Warfian woman, I have always kept my son and watched as you put your life at risk. I respected your choices and never once judged you. But now, one thing has been made completely clear. I cannot live without you. What are you saying? Continue to speak so, I will not be able to meet your eyes for fear of blushing. I will not keep silent any longer, Gijibwe. 
If you try anything this dangerous again, I will stop you by any means necessary, even if I must lay down my own life. To hell with ruffian custom. I would shed my pride a hundred, nay a thousand times before losing you. Surely you can empathize to it. Yeah, go on then. Well, I'm glad it was you I asked for succor. The love that fills you as a parent. We will live out the oath etched in our bracelets from now on. Wherever it is, wherever it is we go, it will be together. Thank you, Twit. I will never forget what you have done for me. And for us. Okay, cool. Now, I'm thinking very much at this point that... We, we end our escapades in terms of... Where's the way out? Where did I come in? Down here. We end our escapades in terms of side quests, because like, I don't remember any locations where there are actually any side quests that I can easily pick up, like any red question marks. I've got a few that I need to finish. Sure. But I'm thinking, at this point, it's like... We may as well just go ahead and get the story finished, and then go off and finish all the other side quests, affinity stuff, heart to heart. It's like... Mainly because the scale fuel here is running low. That, that, that I did say, like, that that was a thing, and it's like... In terms of missions, we do, we do have a few, like Rise of the Blood Bluster and Black Life Orb. Those, those are the ones that I'm very much like, hmm. And they're off the records there as well. It's like, these things can wait for a while, can't they? They really can. So yeah, yeah I feel like next part, we'll um, go back to the story. So we'll see you then. Ta-ta for now.